Greetings, this is Brandon the Freight Broker with Alliance Logistics. I want to thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. Welcome to another beautiful Monday morning. Let's get right into the business of things today. What we're discussing is what is a freight broker and what is the job of a freight broker? Well, let's look at it. A freight broker is a middle person between a carrier and a shipper. A shipper who's shipping goods throughout the U.S. Goods are products that he's shipping to his customers and a carrier who has the asset to move those goods throughout the U.S. So we as freight brokers are gonna come in and provide a third party logistics service to both of those entities. Now, what we have to understand is these two entities have two different things that they wanna accomplish. A shipper wants to get the lowest price and get his goods moved by the best truckers. That's just how that works out. And the carrier, he wants the best price, the highest price to be able to move products from point A to point B. So now we as freight brokers, we have to come in and be the balance to those two different mindsets. The shipper who wants the lowest price, the carrier who wants the highest price to get the, that particular load moved. So we're gonna come in and provide a balance. What is that balance based on? Well, the balance is gonna be based on what the market calls for in that particular lane. This is where we get in trouble as freight brokers, especially new freight brokers sometimes when we're trying to earn the right to start moving loads for a particular customer, we'll come in and try and provide the bottom line price so that we can earn the opportunity and then show what it is that we can do in hopes of winning more loads. The only problem with that is that when you start to do that too often, when you start to come in and bring prices all the way down just to try and earn the right to move a load, it is going to affect you, it's gonna affect your carrier, your shipper is gonna be happy, but how long can you sustain that? Not very long. As freight brokers, we want to be able to provide a price that is beneficial to your shipper, to your carrier, and to you as a brokerage. It has to be a win for all three parties involved. If it's not that, then we cannot sustain that for a long period of time. So we want to make sure that when we are providing prices to our shippers, we're not just coming in the lane and pulling up prices out of our heads just to beat a price that you may think is going to be a low ball price. You just want to beat that low ball price. No, we don't want to do that. What we want to do is come in and take a look at what's going on in the lane. What's the trucking capacity? How many trucks are available in that lane? What's the load to truck ratio? There are a lot of different things that we want to figure out. What's the fuel surcharge? So that we can come up with a rate that is going to be a rate that is going to help our shipper win, our carrier win, and of course our brokerage has to win. We must be able to make a decent profit to continue to provide the service that we provide. So that is what I wanted to share with you today. I know that we sometimes want to provide the lowest price and that's good, I get that, but it's not just about the lowest price. It's about what the market calls for. So when we can come in and provide prices that are based on what's going on in the lane, prices that are competitive, not necessarily the cheapest, but competitive prices, then we have a much better chance at being successful as freight brokers and freight agents. If you want to learn more about the freight broker opportunity, I've placed a link in the description box. This link is going to give you access to a webinar that we did a few weeks ago. And it's a replay, of course, but it's going to tell you all about the freight broker opportunity and also give you some specific details about Alliance Logistics Training Program. We'll show you how to start your business on a solid foundation how to start to manage your daily operations, how to build customer relationships with your shippers and your carriers, and then how to scale and grow your business because we don't wanna be in the same place next year as we are this year. We wanna be in a constant progression state. We always wanna be moving toward getting a little bit better tomorrow than we are today. So you'll see the link in the description box, click on that link, register with us, and then you'll have access to the webinar replay. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. See you at the top because the bottom is much too crowded.